It's really, truly amazing. By the way, we're not going to do a lot of resetting. One of the reasons why I wanted to uh, come on to this format is I don't have to reset and re-explain what we're doing. So just a formatic um, uh, detail here. If you miss something, go back and listen again and get it right. Um, because this is important information. Eric Stackelbeck is here. He's a GBTV contributor, and he has been following this group. We have talked about this really since last spring, and I know both of us have been following um, these kinds of people for quite some time. First thing, sweep up on the radicals, Islamists, communists, and socialist, an idea that has been panned um, for a very long time now. Um, and this is not a new idea. All you have to know is history. Glenn, there is quite a precedent for this. Back in 1979, when the Iranian Revolution was in full swing, the communists, the socialists, the liberals in Iran were full-throated backers of the Ayatollah Khomeini. They worked with the Islamists to help the Ayatollah come to power. Now, once he came to power, they were thrown out in the wastebasket. Literally, Glenn, a few months after the Ayatollah Khomeini seized power, he rounded up the communists, the socialists, the left, imprisoned them, or executed them. So I think that is a cautionary tale for today's left. Very yeah. short-sighted to work with these guys. They don't know who they're getting in bed with when they jump in bed with jihadists. I don't remember how much, uh, how many people called me crazy. Um, uh, how many people called me crazy? When I said, you know what, you have to understand, you're fighting a union workers thing or a anti-America thing, they're fighting for God. In the end, you lose. If you're partnering with them, you lose. Yeah. Key point here, Glenn, and you mentioned it, in every country the Islamists are the most organized and they have a clear goal, but I think the key thing is they are the most ruthless. They will grab power by the throat. They will use any means necessary. You look at Egypt, and God bless these young Facebookers, Twitterers, who were involved in the revolution in Tahrir Square, but at the end of the day, they will be swept aside by the ruthlessness of the Islamists. Well, I'm, you know, I mean, sitting up against the wall is a guy who's in St. Louis, a guy whose back has the sure. Star of David carved into him sure. as he went to the hospital to have, you know, to, to have that cleaned up. Um, one other question before we move on to um, part two, which is revolution and what they're talking about revolution here in America. Um, tell me a little bit about how uh, this group is in our country and all over the world. This is not just this is not just a hundred people or you know two hundred people or yeah. five people in Chicago. Yeah, and now we're going to sound like conspiracy theorists to hear again, Glenn. Don't care. But look. It's all connected. It really is. His book, Tahrir America, has links to radical jihadist groups in Great Britain. There's a guy by the name of Anjum Chowdhury. He's probably mm -hmm. the most notorious Islamist in Great Britain. I've interviewed him. Very bad guy. He is kind of... You feel the, evil on him? You and I talked about this before, where you're in the room with a guy like that, Glenn, face to face. You feel the presence of evil. Yes, yeah. you do. I felt it a few times in my life. That was one of the times. But he is a guy who sets the ideological blueprint for his but Tahrir America. This is all connected. There is actually a group as well, Glenn, here in New York City, in Queens, a few miles from where we're sitting, called the Islamic Thinkers Society. Oh, bad dudes. Very bad dudes, linked to Chowdhury, his but Tahrir America. This is all connected. And these conferences in Australia, in Belgium, Chowdhury is the ideological purveyor of all of these conferences. Okay. We're going to have some solutions for you tonight, America. We're going to have some things that I want you to do, some things that I, people I want you to connect with, groups that I want you to help if you can at all. This is serious business, and the people who are standing and standing against it are alone. GBTV. The truth lives here.